Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to uh, Lingua Prof Teacher Trainings. Again, my name is uh, Peter Selvan, founder and CEO of this Language Training Center. I also provide uh, online and in-person teacher trainings for our language trainers. Today, a few ideas about communicative language teaching again, more specifically about uh, the purposes of communicative activities. Communicative, communicative activities at class, as uh, William Littlewood states in one of his excellent books on communicative language teaching, will provide the so-called uh, whole task um, uh, approach. Uh, what does this mean? Whole task uh, practice will mean that your students will be able to practice um, speaking, for example, without being forced to practice uh, parts uh, or, uh, or uh, uh, separate uh, uh, sequences of speaking. Uh, for example, if we compare uh, learning a language to uh, learning uh, swimming, we will see that, of course, we will practice individual movements at a swimming class, but uh, at the same time we will have to uh, actually swim uh, shorter distances to be able to learn to swim. So if learning swimming means uh, swimming, actually, uh, learning to speak can be uh, uh, more uh, efficiently and more effectively taught and learned by uh, speaking, by uh, creating opportunities for whole task and not uh, what he calls uh, pre-task, I mean separate uh, parts of, uh, of the language. The second uh, big advantage is that all these communicative activities will improve uh, the motivation of your student and uh, since all uh, teacher trainers uh, know that uh, the student's motivation is a key factor in uh, the learning process, this is extremely important uh, for you to know and uh, you, uh, you will uh, have to understand that all these communicative activities will, uh, will improve this uh, motivation. Why? Uh, because uh, your students are uh, coming to your classes because they want to communicate better, they need to improve their communicative skills and not because they want to learn um, uh, different uh, grammatical structures or different uh, different language uh, structures. So don't forget if you need if you want to to uh, enhance uh, the student's motivation, you need to use these communicative uh, activities at class. Uh, the third big advantage is that all these communicative activities will allow. Uh, or what we call natural learning. Um, experienced teachers know that one of the biggest problems in language learning, in language teaching, is that most of the processes, most of the learning processes, actually take place uh, uh, beyond the control of the language trainer inside your students. So you can't, uh, you, uh, you can't, uh, uh, influence this and what you need to do if you're an uh, effective and, uh, and uh, efficient language trainer is to create opportunities for your students to uh, for natural learning and natural learning will always mean a communicative um, communicative approach and the fourth big advantage is that all these communicative activities will create a context which supports learning by developing a, a better relationship between uh, you and the student or between students and all these uh, personal relationship uh, inside a class or at the class will uh, humanize the whole learning process so uh, um, your uh, students will will um, will be able to um, to uh, improve their communication in a in a natural, authentic, and uh, uh, 
human uh, context. Thank you very much. Uh, have fun.